Castelia has a rich heritage of making some of the most innovative products in the cycle industry. Most of the products in the SS23 range have been directly influenced by our pro riders, both from previous teams like Ineos Grenadiers or the current Sedal Quickstep. Fortunately for mere mortals like you and I, we actually have access to the exact same kit that you'll see the world's best riders like Remco Evnepol, Julian Alaphilippe or Fabio Jakobsen using in the best races in the world like the Giro d'Italia or Tour de France. I'm going to go over these items that we can buy and use to get the same performance that those guys do out on the big stage. First up, we're going to talk about the bib shorts that you'll see the vast majority of the style quick step riders use throughout three weeks of a Grand Tour. The Free Aero RC bib shorts were launched last year and is an update of their rather infamous Free Aero collection that's been running for 15 years now. Free Aero is chosen because it's a garment that Castelli is trying to design to be both aerodynamically efficient to race at the highest level, but also have a sense of freedom whilst wearing them for long days in the saddle and be super comfortable. The new Free Aero RC bib short is the biggest makeover that they've had uh, in recent years. So it's dropped down to five panels, which reduces uh, the chances of having any abrasive uh, seams. It also has done away with the leg gripper. So they went through many different iterations to get the right compression on the leg to not require a leg gripper. And this means that you don't end up having any dimples on the legs or any rubbing um, against your skin. So it's a super comfortable bib short. There's also new flat lay bib straps and a raw cut edge on the front. So again, really comfortable, long days in the saddle. Uh, and these new flat leg grippers, they don't bunch up, so they do actually sit really nicely against the flesh. Our market leading Progetto X2 air seamless seat pad, which has two layers and a skin protective layer on the top, like all the rest of our high-end bib shorts, uh, is present as well. So let's say, in the Tour de France in a few weeks' time, the vast majority of the stages that you watch, Sedal Quickset riders will be wearing these bib shorts. Most of the Castelli Pro Riders staple jersey is the Aero Race 6.0. So this is our aerodynamic optimized jersey to be paired with the free Aero RC bib shorts. There has been countless hours of wind tunnel testing uh, to have meticulous placement of the seams as well as getting the right fabrics on the front and over the shoulders to make it as aerodynamic as possible. It is also a very snug fit to minimize any flapping and it is you know, designed for the world's best riders who have incredibly athletic bodies. So it does size small compared to other jerseys in the range. It has a long raw cut sleeve, again for aerodynamics, so it comes down to just above the elbows. It has this very aerodynamic fabric on the front, but then a more perforated back that helps wick moisture and also allows moisture to vent out of the garment when you're really pushing the pedals. Uh, three large pockets as well on the back so you can carry all the food you want. Nice Vizlon zip, as YKK Vizlon zip as well, so it's really easy to move up and down whilst you're riding along. So the Aero Race 6.0 jersey, the fastest Aero jersey that Castelli makes for the fastest racers. What will the Sedal quick step riders be using then in the high mountains when you know the temperature's increasing and they're having to do long efforts going up the biggest mountains on the you know toughest stages of the Tour de France? The most of them will reach for the Climbers 3.0 SL jersey, which I have here in my hand. So this has the same CFD and wind tunnel proven design as the Aero Race. 6.0 jersey, but in a lot more lighter weight, higher wicking and more breathable fabric to keep them cool during the highest efforts and during humidity of summer in the Alps. So on the front, this, is, this uses the Flusso 3D fabric, which is really highly perforated and you can, you know, it is sort of 
mildly see-through, uh, so you will show your skin, but it will keep you incredibly comfortable in warm weather, you know, above 30 degrees. On the back is the Strada Pro fabric, which again helps exhaust any moisture that you do build up and wick uh, to again keep you nice and cool. Same as the uh, Aero Race uh, 6.0 jersey, it's got long elbow long sleeves for aerodynamics, as I said previously. Uh, again, a YKK Vizlon zipper, it's nice and easy to go up and down, and three large pockets at the back. So, yep, when you see the Sudal Quickstep riders attacking the mountains um, or just during really hot days, uh, this is the jersey they'll more than likely be wearing. For riders who want the comfort of the Aero Race 6.0 jersey and the Free Aero RC bib shorts but want a slightly more aerodynamic overall package, Castelli have got the San Remo RC speed suit. So amazingly, speed suits have actually really been popular since 2011 when Castelli, with the first San Remo, won Paris-Roubaix, um, where one of the, you know, the Peloton's underdogs beat the likes of Cancellara and Tom Boonen uh, because of the aero advantage that the speed suits um, presented, of which then is blown up. So the beauty of this garment is that, as I said, it comes with the Aero Race 6.0 jersey, but it's attached to the Free Aero RC bib shorts on the back. So having it joined up together means it is actually slightly more aerodynamic because you have the um, you don't have the detached garments around the waist, and it means it can sit a little bit tight against the skin and prevent uh, any wrinkles. Still comes the Vizlon zipper, so it's easy to open up. And then what made the San Remo so infamous is that it then has the open up zip that means that um, you can op open up to allow cool air in and manage your heat regulation, but the jersey's still attached to the bib short so it doesn't flap around too much, so it's easy to put back together. And also means that for pro riders, you can easily go for a toilet break if you want to as well. Not a problem for mere mortals like you and I. Three large pockets on the back as well, same jersey. So it's, um, it's still very practical. Now something that is probably more um, relevant to the average rider uh, is actually that ski suits like the San Remo are incredibly comfortable because you do away with the bib straps which can be a bit of a pinch point for some people or just cause a bit of pressure over the shoulders so a suit like the San Remo is not just restricted to pro riders or people who race but actually for general club riders and people who want to race or sorry ride in a lot of comforts but quickly at weekend, highly recommended. New in 2022, uh, Castelli launched their fastest ever road racing speed suit, the BTW speed suit. So what does BTW stands for? Ball to the wall. Um, this product was developed specifically for the requirements of pro riders. So previously we've shown you the San Remo RC speed suit, which is a really nice, comfortable and good all round piece but some of our pro riders from Ineos Grenadiers and they're going to Sadal Quickstep wanted a speed suit that they could race in in relative comfort um, with pockets on the back, but actually offered a lot more of an aero advantage where actually they would sacrifice comfort for ultimate speed, whether that's because they're in the day's breakaway, sat on the front of the peloton doing domestic work or wanting to um, win a sprint. So. The BTW suit is our most innovative road speed suit. Uh, so it's got wind tunnel and CFD uh, tested seam positioning uh, and the fastest fabrics on the shoulders and arms that we've ever tested. It's then got this double zip on the front. So even though it doesn't completely detach like the San Remo with the stretch and the double zip, riders can still uh, manage their heat regulation and also go to the toilet if required. On the lower leg is then our new uh, Premio bib short which is made from a super lightweight engineered woven knit which doesn't retain any moisture or minimal, dries out really quickly, is incredibly comfortable, has various different stretch properties across one panel and actually in wind tunnel testing has proven to be our fastest fabric that we've ever tested, which then makes the fastest speed suit we've got. 
other handy bits to make it relevant for a road racer that has got two pockets in the back. So who will be using this? You'll probably see uh, riders who are going to go into the day breakaway use this. Uh, you might even see uh, some of the domestiques who want to sit on the front of the um, peloton or in the wind will use this. But it's actually a favourite of the likes of Remco Evenepoel. So he tends to race in this all the time and he's worn this the last two times that he's won Liège, Baston Liège. Um, also, Fabian Jakobsen uses this for sprints because if you don't mind sacrificing a bit of breathability and practicality, it's the fastest suit in the peloton. So we might wish that we had the legs of some of the world's best riders who race with ink steady clothing. Um, and even though that's a, you know, merely a dream that will never come to reality, you can buy the same kit that they use throughout the greatest races in the world, whether that's the monuments or the grand tours like the Giro d'Italia or Tour de France. Um, if you have any questions about any of the other kits um, or any questions about what they might be using, leave a comment down below and we'll try and answer for you.